Well, welcome back to uh, Hillside Golf Club here in Southport for the Betfred British Masters. Rupert Bell alongside me. And Rupert, it's a case of, as you were really, the overnight leader's still there to be shot at. Yeah, Marcus Kinnock not going away, but it will be, as they say, squeaky bum time on the back nine. That's the important thing for someone like him. Matt Wallace obviously is a prolific winner. It's what happens on the par fives. But fair play to Marcus Kinnock. He's quietly gone about his business, whereas Matt Wallace hasn't just always got it 100% right. Made one or two mistakes, but of course he's still very much in the mix. Possibly a two-horse race at the moment. What about this man who's pavilion best beside us, Tommy Fleetwood? He's still in there pitching. He's absolutely still in there pitching. And as again, I've just mentioned those par fives. That's they're relatively short, and it's what happens there. If someone, if Tommy Fleetwood can get an eagle, then these galleries who are all rooting for him will erupt. You can feel the excitement generated around the course here. The crowd loving it, and they would love a charge from Fleetwood. But Matt Wallace and Kinnell look the two at the moment. And Martin came at Eagle, both the par fives on the back nine. But here at Hillside this Sunday for the Betfred British Masters, we've got a back nine shootout.